What's going on guys, welcome to another video. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you guys how I backtest my trading strategy using the TradingView app on the iPad Pro. So, the first thing I'll do is I'll decide what pair I want to backtest. Then I'll simply go onto the bar replay tool. Using this tool, I can go wherever I want and I can place the line here so and as you can see all price action beyond this point has been raised so what this does this allows me to check my trading strategy as if this was current day okay so when analyzing charts the first step I usually do is I put in my trend lines so looking at this chart can't really see many trend lines however I can see a support and resistance line so that will be my next step so as you can see just here here we can see price respect to the line and here we can see this line became a new support However, price broke below it and is now heading back up. And the third thing I'll check for is if I can see any price pullbacks. Using the Fibonacci tool, I'd simply check if there's a significant. So here we can see at the 38.2%, we have a confluence of the Fibonacci and the resistance line and we also have the EMA touch so what I'll do is I'll put a rectangle around this area like so and what I'll do here is I'll put a cell limit using a 30 pip stop loss and a 30 pip QP I reckon price will reverse around here and then I'll simply press play and see if it plays out so let's have a look We have a look here. Just back. Just about here. Here we can see price touched our entry and done 30 pips. And this is where I would be out of the trade. And then obviously, if we press play, we can see price went on to hit stop loss. However, I would already be out of this trade and had taken profit. So now what I'll do is I'll get rid of this sell limit indicator. Like so. However, what I can do now, instead of getting rid of this box, is I can extend it further. Because I know it has worked in the past. And again. Can extend my Fibonacci across. This time I can see a trend line, so I'll add that in. Yeah. However, this time I believe price will respect the zone again. So I'll put another sell limit for the future just here and let's see what happens okay so let's take price back again. let's check that again So 
here we can see if we extend this across price here our entry however this time we can see we had quite a bit of drawdown almost hit stop loss however before hitting stop loss it reversed and went on to hit our 30 pip tp however instead of doing 30 pips it went on to do almost 50 let's play it back just to double check okay so we can see this trade actually done around 70 pips so here again we would have taken profit being out of the trade if i had my second position open i would have also taken profit at tp2 which is usually 50 pips so again now this trade is finished i'll get rid of this in here so so far two out of two trades have worked and just like that i'd go on to test multiple trades to see how many trades work compared to how many trades don't so again let's have a look at this so now i have to decide if price is still going to respect this zone and if i want to keep it there however at the moment i think that this zone is relevant so i'm going to keep it on my chart However, this time I may look for a long position. And this long position will be off of this support zone. So, as we can see, price has wicked around this area multiple times and headed back up. So, what I'll do now is I'll put a long position here, like so and see if price respects it okay so what we can see here is price no longer wants to come down and now has broken beyond our resistance zone once your resistance zone is broken we know that it becomes a new support zone so using that knowledge what i'll do is i'll change my position so i'll cancel that buy limit and now modify it to this position here as we can see the emas are crossing over here as well so let's have a look So here's an example of a fake out. Price isn't quite ready to go up yet and has broken below the support zone. So from here, again, you must decide are you going to keep this support zone and this resistance zone? Looking at this, we can see the support zone crosses over with a trend line so I may look to enter around here as we have a confluence so let's have a look let's modify this to 30 pips let's have a look so as we can see these two support resistances are no longer valid as they have been broken twice now so what I'd simply do is I'll get rid of them and reevaluate so now looking at this chart we can see price has broken below the trend line however as we can see after it broke below it returned back to the trend line and wicked off of the trend line so what this tells us is that this trend line may be significant 
looking at this chart now I may look to get into a short position as prices respect to the trend line remember this is a riskier trade as there is no confluence I'm simply going off of one indicator so let's have a look if I was to short price at current market price what would happen so as we can see price almost here take profit however in this case it done 25 pips and then headed to stop loss however this would be up to you if you want to take 25 pips or if you want to see the trade play out it's totally up to you however i know personally i would have waited for it to hit 30 pips however in this scenario i would have hit stop loss all right guys that's it for this video hopefully this video gave you a little insight into how i analyze my charts as you can see i like to keep it very simple and avoid using too many complicated indicators also in this video I wanted to show you how your trading strategy may not always work, however this doesn't mean it isn't a good strategy. As we saw in this video, 2 out of 4 trades would have hit TP and the other 2 stop loss. The key is to stay consistent with your strategy and manage your risk effectively. If you liked today's video and you would like to see more videos like this, please let me know in the comment section down below. Alright guys, thanks for watching.